Dr. Paul here, I've got a young lady with a pretty swollen eye. Let's go take a look. Hi, how you guys doing? Good. Oh my goodness, that is a really cool looking eye you got. This guy is actually my son, did you know that? Did you know that Noah is his son? That's big no-no. <laughs> big no-no. Big no-no. When he was a little boy, we said, no, 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 no. No, he didn't really. That just, okay. it totally did. I see some swelling on your eye, right? And do you know what happened? I got bitten by a spider. You got bitten by a spider? Are you sure? Yeah. How do you know? My mom me. Oh, she, did you see a spider? No. no. I just guessed that Guessing. that might have okay. been what it was. So she had had a little bite there or something happened there and it mm -hmm. was really swollen. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that was a week or two ago? Yeah, I'd say about two, okay. two weeks. It was right before she started kindergarten. And then this swelled up when? That swelled up Monday morning is when we discovered okay, it. Okay, so two days ago. And has it been getting more and more swollen? Yeah, yesterday, or yesterday it wasn't nearly as swollen okay. as it is today. All right, today. Besides what we're seeing, does she have fever? Does she have any discharge from that eye? No. Nope. Okay, no discharge, no fever, and she's acting okay. Yep. All right. Acting herself. Does it itch? Is it itchy? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. I want to just look at your eye here. All right. So we're just seeing the amount of a little bit pinkish, but not terribly red. And if we compare to this side, really not that different. And so for our viewers, what we worry about with, with eye swelling and redness is something called periorbital cellulitis. And it can look a little red like this, but it tends to be really angry red when we look at that lower lid. And these are about the same. What we're seeing is what might be a little bite here. And then the rim of redness is sort of vague. Sometimes with a periorbital cellulitis, it's brighter, angrier pink rather than this slightly bluish purplish look. So the reason I'm quite certain this is not a periorbital cellulitis is due to the slightly bluish purplish look, the absence of discharge, look up at the ceiling, good job. The absence of discharge in the eye and this is not angry red. And cause you're so adorable, <laughs> I think that's why. All right, she's not sick. That's really a helpful hint as well. Oftentimes with periorbital cellulitis, kids are really, really sick. You're gonna watch for fever, pus, increased redness, swelling perhaps if it starts spreading all the way around the eye. Uh, those would be reasons to come right back. Otherwise, I'd say we've got a pretty pretty certain insect bite of some sort with a lo local reaction. And we can use something like uh, Claritin is Loratadine, Zyrtec, Benadryl, Diphenhydramine. These are all antihistamines that can be used when you have an allergic-like local reaction. Yeah. And again, watch for fever, increased redness, a lot worse. And if she's acting sick, for sure come back right away. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank so you. thanks for sharing your eye with us. Do you have anything you want to tell your fans? Your, the, all the people that are going to see this, do you want to say anything? I don't want to Okay. <laughs> thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul. Thank you.